I've got one that can see. Hey guys, what's up? Mika here, the Travel and Tarot, back again with today's Daily Focus. So I hope you guys are finding those other videos. I hope they've been very valuable and I hope that you're heeding to anything that does resonate. Now these readings are for the collective, anybody who finds the video, they are timeless and they're just like little bite-sized videos to help you decide what to focus on. Because if you were inspired to click on the video or decided to watch it for whatever reason, that is spirit giving you that guidance to say, okay, look, there's something in this video for you. And I also hope that you are thinking up your question so that you can take advantage of my 111 readings. They are $1, one card, one question readings, and the links will be in the description. You can also check it out at thetravelintarot.com. Okay, so today I am just gonna pull one card from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck, and then we'll follow it up with a little clarification with one tarot card. So let's see, my fellow travelers, what information my team wants to give your team that will be best for you to focus on today. And, and whenever, again, you find this video, that would be your green light to maybe start looking in that direction in terms of where to place your focus. You know, it's kind of funny <laughs> because I knew when I was getting ready for these videos, I was really feeling brown and like almost tapping back into my queen of wands um, energy with this like tribal necklace and this brown. And so gr I knew something that had to do with grounding was going to be today's message because I can feel it time for all of us to bring our energy, like ground our energy in what we now know. So it's been a very, very trying time uh, in terms of release and acceptance and moving forward and choices. And so now that we've made those decisions, it's time for us to go deep and explore our roots and ground ourselves, root ourselves in our new truths and in our new perspective of ourselves. And today is going to be a wonderful day and a perfect ask from the universe for you to ground yourself in the truth. Ground yourself. If you do have time, step out into nature and go for a walk. Even if you don't have time and you're at work, do take a few minutes just to step outside for a minute because it really does help bring you back into perspective. And what's so beautiful is that at the bottom of the deck, it says breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. This is the thing, once you ground yourself in your new truth, you receive those break those breakthroughs. And with this saying breaking trail, it feels like maybe a hike or a walk might bring you that clarity. Okay, because if you can take yourself out of it, which exercise is a wonderful way to ground yourself, walking, swimming, even actual lifting, whatever you're into, is a wonderful way to not only shift the energy, shift the focus, but also raise the level of energy because you're putting physical energy behind this grounding perspective, okay? So they want you to know that today is gonna be about grounding yourself, grounding yourself in your new truth and tapping into the energy around you. Ground yourself in that truth because if you look around, things are happening harmoniously and nobody's doing anything. So keep that perspective because we, as the highest form of creation, you know, also live under that we don't really need to do anything that's not, we're not inspired to do. There's a plan. We are also that seed, like the trees and the, the things that grow, that everything is in that. You just want to plant it, nurture it, give it sunlight, you know, give it earth give it water, and give it everything it needs to grow into the thing you want it to be, okay? So I'm gonna pull one tarot card and see how best um, you'll be able to, to do that, okay? 
but there is some type of a breakthrough coming up, okay? So as you ground yourself in that truth, which discovering truth did show up, but as you ground yourself in that truth and go deeper and explore who you truly are and root yourself in it, you're going to be receiving breakthroughs like it's nobody's business, okay? So they're asking you to be willing to do that. And remember how I said a walk is a wonderful way. I pick up this good karma deck and we literally have the Knight of Wands who is out on a trail. So there is something significant about that. So you might want to just take a walk if you found this video. Go for a walk to get that clarity that you need so that you can receive the breakthrough that you're looking for, okay? Thank you for that, spirits, angels, guys. And again, how best are they going to be able to, you know, ground themselves? It sounds like going for a walk or doing some form of exercise is going to be um, pivotal in you receiving that breakthrough. And I think it's mainly because, again, when you're exercising, you're really focused on what you're doing. So you're taking your brain out of it. And much like chanting, much like anything that you do, it is about you being able to take your conscious mind out of it so that your spirit can take control and take you right to those breakthroughs. But it all starts with grounding yourself, okay? But the one tarot card that did come out is the Ace of Cups, okay? Because it's about you finding that emotional fulfillment, finding new emotional fulfillments, finding new potential. We even see with the Ace of Cups, depending on where you're focused, that this could be about new love coming in, okay? I've been receiving a lot of energy and information for my own personal situations that there are new love there's new love coming in and it's not just in a romantic way although let's go <laughs> but it is divine counterparts and if you look at some of the other readings that I've recently done especially for the collective we've gotten things like soulmate we've gotten things like divine counterparts and we've gotten things like to let us know that new the new things that we need, new love, new creative ideas, new things that make our heart overflow with emotion like this cup is doing. New things that make our heart overflow with emotions, okay? Ground your emotions and ground yourself in those things that make you overflow with emotion, okay? And not so much in a negative way. And I love that the Three of Cups shows up because you know, when I started this reading, I knew that it was going to be about some type of community and or some type of just getting out there and having fun with the intention of just having fun. Because you can also ground yourself in joy and enthusiasm. You can look at your situation as you putting one foot in front of the other, humble beginnings, if you will. Or you can look at yourself and be like, damn it, I'm not there yet. And then you're going to be stagnant and stuck in that holding pattern. And that is the energy um, that you want to release yourself from. But with breaking trails showing up, we have the Knight of Wands showing up at the beginning there. And grounding, it wants you, they, we, me, all of us want you to get out there and feel life. Get out there and attach to nature because it's going to help you get the perspective that you need to allow in the emotional fulfillment that you're ultimately seeking. It is not the it. You want the energy of the thing, okay? And if you can find the energy of the thing, then all of it flows in the same direction. And you do that by meaningful partnerships. And that's why I knew that it was going to be divine counterparts because this is three of cups meaningful friendships it also represents celebrations reasons to celebrate so one of the biggest reasons you're going to be excited about is because you're now living your truth and you can be authentic that is the funnest part of not giving a fuck <laughs> everything else flows in that direction and it's beautiful but not giving a fuck and living your authentic truth really frees you from a lot of things especially energetically Okay, so I do hope something resonated with you guys. Definitely take advantage of those 111 readings. Get your question ready and let's get your, your questions answered. There's also the 20 minute reading and there's also the 45 minute deep dive. So feel free to check those out. They're in the description or go to the travelintoro.com. If something did resonate, make sure that you like it, you share it, you subscribe it. You know, uh, let's get this word out there. 
if I am helping you in any way, it would really be wonderful to let me know that because I do appreciate each and every view, each and every like, each and every subscribe, each and every ounce of energy that I receive from you, I appreciate deeply. So again, I am Mika, the Travel and Tarot. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Peace. Thank you.